Oh, hello! I did not see you there. Today we will be learning how to play Definitely Not Stratego. This is a four-person combat game where there is only one winner. The game is divided up into two separate parts, the building phase and the attack phase. When you unbox the game, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to build your pieces. You have 15 separate uh, individual player models that you are going to line up in the back three rows on the board. Each player has its own special rank and ability. The flag is the most important piece. It is what you're trying to defend from the other players and what you're trying to capture from each other player. Then you have the king. He is your most powerful um, player module. Followed by him you have two lords and then two knights. Wizards are the next people that you have for your ranks and these have a special ability to knock down your other team's walls. Each player has two walls and what they can be used to do is guard the flag or any other of your special pieces that you would like to protect. You also have two bombs that will be activated upon um, attack. So if another player were to attack you, then the bombs will go off and kill you both. But we'll discuss that later. And last but not least, you have two jesters. The jesters have a special ability to go an extra move each turn. So they are very valuable, but they can be killed by any of the other places, pieces. So you want to keep that in mind. Once each player has their uh, team and army set up, the next phase is to lay out the uh, uh, dig pieces. The dig pieces will be shuffled randomly and then laid on the center tile in every square except for the four corners, because the four corners are the water tiles that will cause some extra action to go through. But we'll discuss that again later in action movements. These, these center tiles are dig tiles, and what your players can do is on their turn, you will be able to dig and you will reveal special abilities underneath them. Um, the player who has uh, set up their army first will begin the game, and from there they will begin with their three actions. Uh, like I said earlier, jesters, their special ability is to move an extra action. so. I would be able to dig with a jester off the first movement, even though that is four actions total. Um, actions can be split up between attacking, moving, and digging. Early on, when people are farther away, it will be impossible to attack them, so it will mostly be an action of movement and digging. Um, all of your plot... Uh, all of your pieces are able to move except for the walls, the bombs, and the flags. Um, those are the stationary and will remain stationary throughout the entire game. Amongst the center dig tiles, you have a bunch of different tiles. You have the quick stand, which if you reveal, you will remain stationary there for two turns. The battle elixir, which upon revealing, you will keep in your hand and you will keep it secret to the other players. The battle elixir can be used on your turn to give your uh, player an extra two ranks. Um, in that fight. So, for example, if a knight was attacking a so if, for example, a knight was attacking a lord and they used the battle elixir, the b knight would actually trump the lord because it had this potion. After the battle is complete, the uh, battle elixir then goes into the discard pile. You could also have the ability to draw a scuba gear if you were to dig. And the scuba gear, much like the battle elixir, will go into your hand and will be used at any point during your turn. Uh, from there, once you arrive to a water tile, you can play the scuba gear and you can go to any of the other four uh, water tiles. It is much like a transportation tile. You could reveal a mine, which unfortunately would detonate and destroy your player instantly and then go into the discard pile. You could draw a zombie potion, and you can keep that back into your hand and use at any point during your turn to revive any of your players. So, for example, if you were to have a king that was killed earlier in battle, you can revive him and bring him back. Once it's used, it goes into the discard pile. These items are one use, and even though if the, all the dig tiles were to be dug up at any point during the game, that's unfortunate, and there are no more items to be drawn at any point in, during the time. During attack, you have to be on the same place as the same uh, as the player that you're attacking, and once you attack them, you will reveal who your character rank is. So during this instance, I will reveal that I'm a wizard. The player then will reveal who they are, and, and during this instance, they are a jester. 
the wizard trumps the jester, so then the jester will go to the discard pile, and then the wizard will take over that's place. If at any point you take over their flag, then their whole army becomes yours. And you will now have two armies to occupy, and you can move accordingly. That does th this does not mean you have extra actions, it just means you have two armies that you can split up to capture the other team's armies as well. The end of the game is when one player has successfully taken over all four of the other team's flags. And that's the winner of Definitely Not Stratego. Did somebody say Definitely Not Stratego? I love that game. Thanks, Noob Noob. Come on over. Let's play a game.